I've now clicked the record button, and I get to ask you, yo, what up? Nothing much. What about you? Nothing much. I get to, I'm get. i staring at your cool Mirko 2 list, a character that I'm really excited about in Girl Power. Um, and I, I am reading through your idea, clear everything, slam a couple roundhouse, uh, win the game, right? Um, what do you need my help with? What do you need my help with? more trimming and like i was talking i talked to a couple of my friends yesterday about it because someone else built one and they were like reciproco turbo is the only reason played on there hmm okay and i cut it because i was like i don't want to have to play a five diff with barely any stage sure and check a three and go well i die now because i have no stage okay Plus two speed on all your moves is pretty good, though. Yes, that, that's why I put it in the cyborg because I I considered it at first. I took it out. I put it back. I put it back in the cyborg just so it's there for you when you add cards. Yeah, I mean the question is: is is Recipro Turbo better than Rabbit Cross Kick? Probably. Okay. More than likely it is. Is Recipro Turbo better than Full Cowling Shoot Style? Yes and no. It is... Recipro gives itself speed and draw, but mm -hmm. Shoot Style gives it speed and damage. Is Recipro better than Luna? I am keeping Luna in the deck even at a one of... Solely because I have a very, very friendly Amajiki player at my locals. I agree with that. I agree. I agree with that. I when I Either did you walk this or die? Did you watch the top eight that I uh, played with Barrett when I played Mirko too? I did not. I I, not I played an air Mirko. I did not play kicks. I played Furies. And so I didn't play. Fire. Rabbit cross kick. I didn't play full cowling shoot style. I played, um, uh, I played stun grenade as my bonus for for picking everything up. I still played the falling roundhouse kick at like a two or a three of, and stun grenade gets to go pick up Luna. So there are other options that you have for do I play, uh, do I play the air symbol? But if you are if you are playing the kick version, right? You are playing Frog Stomp, you are playing Luna Arc, you are playing Falling Roundhouse Kick. I think you're just supposed to play for for Zipro. I think this is just okay. the correct move. Um, I I agree with that. Probably because now that I look at it, now that I'm actually looking at it, and I'm not actively building it, having the Rabbit Cross become Zipro is better. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that's why I cut it to begin with, just because I was looking at block zones. All this means is we can just like play different block zones, like, and that's okay, yeah. right? Like we we can figure out different ratios. I like this. I also like the deck having slightly more attacks because like we have to, we have to have a bunch of attack cards, right? But when we take we look at high blocks, uh, let's go look at kick high blocks. Air attack. Kick is over here. I can find it, I believe. Flash. Right there. Um, high block search. Rabbit cross kick. Shoot style mix up. Um, I mean, frog stomp is a good one. Truthfully, acrobatic leap is not bad. It has stun one. If it deals damage, commit a rival foundation. It's not bad. And uh, it also could be like you have four frog stomp right and you just do two uh rabbit cross kick right as just like those are my high blocks and i get it i get where i get where i'm at right and then we figure out what the block zone looks like for the other ones right mm -hmm. i think that full cowling shoot style is not a very good card i think this card like is here as a common for the pre-release and that's it yeah. I originally built the deck as a majority of five deck focusing on charges. Sure. And then I realized St. Louis does not combo very well with Fallen Runners. It does not, no. 
But I'm going to get rid of the shoot style. And then I'm going to take the Luna and I'm going to drop it down to a two of. Perfectly fine. And then we're back to 21, which I think is an acceptable number. We go back to block zones. We've got six highs. We've got six lows. The rest mids. This yep. looks good to exactly, me. Exactly what I wanted in terms of like the ratios on attacks for blocks. Go back to difficulties. We've got six uh, five diffs. This is normally like a four diff. I know whenever I only played Luna... Um, would you pronounce this for me? What is this word? Tejeras. Say that again. Tejeras. Tejeras. What's it mean? I think... I don't remember what it means in Spanish. I'm Googling. It is Spanish. I'm Googling. Uh, T-I-J-E-R-S. Scissors. Moon scissors. Moon scissors. Okay, I get to call this card scissors. Love it. Uh, okay, so I only played one scissors and it felt great. I played one and it felt wonderful. Um, I felt like, I felt like it was not, it was not, I didn't miss it at, at more than one of, it felt totally fine. Um, there was never a time where I drew it all by its lonesome and then whatever, right? Yeah. Um, let's talk Cape is great, Genkai's is fine. I'm I'm a one of main, one of side kind of guy, but if you want a main board too, that's chill. Seizing uh, hey, the advantage. Oh, go ahead. The reason why Genkai's was I put two in there is because I was I just go ahead and put two. If I move one to the side, if I keep them both in there, it's just it's there for me already. I don't have to think about it. Sure. That's fair. Yeah. Also, the form is, like, very good, right? Like, hey, this is one less card you get to block with. I'll kill you. Seizing. I think you're playing too many seizing. I think that you should be playing this at, like, a one of, maybe a two of, especially because now we've got turbo that gives plus two speed to all your moves. Right? We don't need a ton of speed yes. anymore. Um, I think the one of is fine. And, again, one, uh, one more on the sideboard for, um, for, spot. S for spot removal. Right? Um, especially because like Turbo's gonna uh, make 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 us uh, crush it, right? Mm -hmm. um, this character, this card's very good for this character, huh? It's, it's basically just Osui if she if they block the previous move. But and it's a three that starts as a three for three. It's a three to five for five with one high block. Like this is this is crazy on this card. And you're allowed to kick it with Mirko. No, that's not true. Uh, that's not true. Yes. I that's meant good. sorry. I meant on block. I'm so sorry. Mirko does not kick yes. on block. I'm I'm a dirty liar. Okay. This uh, is like, it's like a from here, I think that all I have done is cut two actions. <laughs> and so now we have to go through. I am not going to go and look at any of the um any more cards to put in your deck? I'm just gonna start taking cards out of your deck, if that's fair. That's perfectly fine. That's really what I wanted was just trimming. Okay. Because I looked at cards for foundation, and said cool four, cool four, and ended up with forty nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Out of reach. This card sucks. This card's a bad version yeah. of your character. If you, if you want to uh, if you want to clear a card out of your card pool, do a better job of hitting them. Fair. Uh, after this card is committed during the hand step, this deck is plus one or minus one speed. Why does this card matter? It's just with the three diff? Uh, three diff. I think if you've got plus two speed here and plus two speed here... They're going to commit their entire board to block one move. I don't think that the plus one matters. I get I that it's a was... six check. That's fine. If we're doing our job correctly, we should be playing on no progressive difficulty, so you don't need sixes. Yeah. You should You should actually be playing with zero, zero cards in your card pool every time you play an attack card. I want to cut this card. Thoughts? That's fine with me. It's gone.
defiant stance. Is it just work with the three diff? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it, it gives me another foundation to do. So yeah. Need up. <laughs> After this card enters your discard pile, this enhanced step, your next attack gets plus two damage. This is going to be a really cool card in the pre-release, and it, it mm -hmm. doesn't do anything really crazy inside of the actual event, or inside the actual constructed. It's fine. Um, yeah, Mother's Embrace gets to be a two of. Actually, I'm going to cut Mother's Embrace all together because four small number is just the better version of this card. Yeah, um, uh, I was just having five small limber-like effects is better than four. Sure. I, along those lines. I would agree with you if you didn't have 74 cards in your deck. Yes. <laughs> um, Secret Fantasy Technique. I like this card a lot in this deck. I think this is this is one of the big reasons to play as the, uh, the Air Kicks finish. deck rather than the Fury deck that I was playing. As I think this card is very cool. And if you look at uh, Falling Round, Falling Roundhouse, it will re-ready it. So it'll re-ready it, so you can on the next attack do it again. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. That's very very neat. Down to sixty-seven. Um, we cut. Four more cards, and we're at book. What's our block zones look like? We need to cut highs and mids. Click block zone. Always the thing. Problem solving. After you Wait, discard this card. Okay. I dig that. Let's make it a two of because we don't really discard cards anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Um. First in transformation was also another outlet. Sure. I almost want to just cut problem solving altogether and just play four fearsomes. Because drawing fine. cards is red. Drawing cards is super cool. You went back uh, up did I put it to four? Whoops. Goodbye. 65. Not bad. Let's go back to what mid blocks can we cut? Basic training. Quick like a rabbit. This attack gets minus two speed of foundation to destroy this fate. Uh, I want to cut rabbit it's, finesse altogether. It's defense is what I was looking at. Yeah, I, I we've got four it's copies of it. nice try. We've got four copies of small number, two copies of return of the king, and our character is surprisingly good on defense. Right, I can commit it to to pass my block on defense, then destroy a committed foundation to ready your backup. That's quote minus one speed on this attack because I get to block with her again. Yeah. Right? I think that cutting this is the correct move, and that puts us to our book number with these numbers feeling decent. Thoughts? Uh, maybe cut some more mids for lows, because I, I fear lows. I fear the low move. After watching your previous uh, deck talk, um, I fear the lows. <laughs> sure, okay. Um, I mean, the mids that I would cut are things like Seizing. And... If Seizing was what I... I was thinking Seizing would consider itself being cleared. It is not. It builds itself. It, it is does not. not. Clear. Yeah. So and I would just put Return up because it's a zero diff. Or oh, oh, it's a one diff. Still at 63, 18, 23, 22. I think 18 is fine, especially if you, like, if you know the lows are coming, right? Like, if you read that they're coming, like, just hold solid low blocks, right? Yeah. I think that is actually what I was thinking of when I was building this deck to begin with, was just some defense to live and then death. Yeah. I so my idea was it was like playing Grappa basically, but yeah, better. Yeah, I, I think I think this feels pretty good. I mean, I like I like where this is. I like the attack lineup as is, um, and I think that this is a deck that only gets better as we obviously get more air kicks, right? 
because like there there are some options here that like aren't incredible but if you just like find the good ones and you can one for all full cowling eight percent falling roundhouse kick them for like plus three plus three feels pretty good <laughs> feels pretty okay so I it might even be of like we're supposed to play more family test. secrets right i did a test uh by myself just like gold fishing and saying like this attack got blocked this one didn't like just random flipping a coin and stuff yeah i uh i ended up clearing like six cards because i it was like turn four because i had you know blocked i did things i was trying to recruit resources to be able to go deeper yeah 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 no i dig that I, 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 I think that's cool i've learned rapa with resources is very scary 100 and rapa that gives all your moves plus two speed is also pretty good <laughs> yeah yeah uh any final thoughts before i ship this list back to you i think it is really really good i will hope to terrorize my locals with this when it please, comes out please do and, and like you know you've got that local amajiki you can just toss mm -hmm. one more of these in your sideboard and probably feel great, right? Yeah. It's like... I do like, know they are going to uh, a different deck because they're tired of playing Armajiki because they've been playing it since release. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, buddy. But well, it also helps with Togo because that's a true. momentum focus now. And that deck is going to definitely definitely terrorize with, uh, with some of these new girl power cards. All right, uh, stay on the line long, for, long enough for me to shoot you the list, and you have a good rest of your night, okay? Absolutely, sir. You too. We'll see ya.